Hello everyone and welcome to a review of the biggest German dustbin that ever dustbinned. This is the KPZ-70 or the German version of the American KPZ, uh, MBT-70. It's fast, has around 30 horsepower per tonne, it's low to the ground, it's got a 152mm cannon, it has pretty good, good, good gun depression and it comes with Hydromax suspension. It is a premium tank and in many cases is better than the MBT-70 as it trades the MBT-70's Shilele missile rounds for high explosive rounds instead, meaning that you will be able to do damage to higher tier vehicles as the penetration on both the heat rounds and the AP rounds are actually kind of low. So they quick comparison between it and other MBTs of the same tier, such as the the 900, the 2, Abrams, the bog standard MBT-70, the GAC-7C, and the T-80B. As you can see here, it has an alpha damage far in leagues ahead of the closest competitors. Um, 190 more than the T-80B. The penetration is pretty decent compared to the rest, however, as the same as the T-80B and achieved a 900-450s kind of box standard penetration for tier 6 and won't really help with tier 7s with only the M1A Rams having less. Its DPM is also relatively okay compared to the rest with the Leopard 2 AVs 120 having almost a thousand less but the everything else having roughly the same. It also has a very low amount of hit points, 2600 is only slightly more than the T-80B and falls far less more than the rest with anywhere from 200 or 100 less hit points and it is also the weakest armoured MBT on um, tier 6 as well, its lower plate being absolutely thin as hell and its relatively large turret not having that much of a great armour either. However, its camouflage 15% is pretty nice and it does have pretty good gun depression angles, minus 14 at best. And the aim time is okay with the turret reverse being pretty nice as well. And lastly, a 72 km is now top speed, it also means it is the fastest MBT in tier 6 as well. While the upper 2 having more, the MBT, the KPT 70 is significantly faster and lighter at 36 tons. Gun wise, you, could, you will do anywhere from 675 to 826 AP damage. Heat rounds, almost a 900, and the HE rounds will give you the ability to make AFEs shit their pants. Pretty good. There are a choice of a couple of MBTs for the MBT-70. Um, I usually go with Cortez simply for the chance of dealing max damage. The fact you have the longest reload time, you're going to have to make every shot count. Pretty decent fuse in that guy. Um, apart from that, you could always use Freya for the maximum accuracy with absolutely intense aim speed and pretty good minimum sped as well and also gives you some acceleration off-road too which is pretty nice. There's also the choice of using another commander such as Maximilian Koenig who will give you repair speed increase and pretty decent amount of aim time and better traverse speed as well and will also help with ammo swap speed as you will be continue swapping between your ammo. And then lastly you could always simply use Philip it's a pretty standard NATO MBT commander, gives uh, some buffs in various places and the final one to use is Rachel, which if you're going to be brawling, you know how Rachel goes at this point. Crew wise, I will always go with overall accuracy while movement is increased by 10% and acceleration off road and for the gunner aim speed and turret traverse or you could always go for a simple accuracy buff as well if that's what you want. Um, this is a very squat tank, so improved fire extinguisher is pretty good as well. First aid cabinet and surplus power crates will also help with whatever, how everything is going. And lastly, this thing is completely based on its gun. Therefore, improved gun breach, ballistic computer, and advanced MRS is the way to go. Protection wise, the tank doesn't really have much. Um, it can actually pen itself with its own heat rounds, as you can see here. Just pretty much steel armor all over, 130 on the turret, not great at all. It's not too good in all honesty. 225 for the um, 
lower front plate versus AP rounds 196 and places to hit with high explosive all over. It gets even worse as the side armor is only 84 degrees, well 84 millimeters, well anywhere from 100 to 84 with the ammo rack being extremely vulnerable to being hit as you can see here. In fact let's see if we can pen this thing with a tier 1. As you can see even a tier 1 with 290 pen rounds will go through this thing and it also means that auto cannons can also butter the tank as well. It's very weakly armoured. Uh, so weakly armoured that in fact a basic tier 1 AP shell will go just about everywhere for it. Which means you're going to have to be fast and hard with this thing. Uh, one of the games today will be a simple uh, recording as I've actually been struggling these past couple of days to actually get any good games in Armored Warfare. Mm. And basically be back from Babscon and stuff like that. And the other game will be a voiceover. So, let's have a look at some games. Oh. Oh. Oh my. Everything hurts. I feel when your tits still aren't big enough, so you can't um, show them off on like. <laughs> even this, no, because you can still like see them like show my titties. I'm just like no, they're still not big enough. Can't be a titty streamer yet. If you're the tank girl, can be, but I can't because she's got fucking D cups and I don't. I've got B cups. Maybe. What's my hair doing? Uh, where are we going? Um, probably down south again. I actually quite enjoy going down south. Bones, you're here to fucking use Google Translate. That's it. Wow. That's a big gun. It's a big ass dustbin gun. If someone says, can I help you in English, I don't think... I have no idea what he's talking about. English, please. At least you don't have 32 D key cups. Hello, John Travolta. How are you? I. At best, I would be hope. I would. I would be hoping for like. Uh, 34 C's or something. Like you know, like good mid-sized breasts. Uh, the fact that I'm on B cups and, I, and I'm a little more than a year into, into transition is actually pretty decent though. Uh, at the moment though, my weight leaves a little bit to be desired. Let's wait for the VBR to do it. Okay, nobody's coming. Let's go. Ooh. Alright, let's go. Let's just see the 1500 horsepower engine still hasn't. I mean, I actually wish these things had their full stats because they were nuts. Actually, Bones, you are being objectified and you like being objectified, you little bitch. Not spotted. Oh, Jesus. Game freeze. I wonder if they have if their C thirteens are still camping at base or something. I don't I don't I don't wanna push up. I'm gonna fucking hit him and make him be me. There's a sting anyway. Oh there it is. Hi, how are you? Boop. Back up. Fucking IT one's gonna come for me, I know it. What 
the fuck is... Okay, this is weird. Hey B, how you doing? Oh, shit, hi. Don't let them touch me. Why is this not doing enough damage? Can I get some help over here? That this friggin' AMX-40, like, give me some help. That'd be great, dude. Thanks. I'm about to get molested by that. How did... How does that even remotely bounce on people? I do not know. All I know is, is that that fucking stingray is going to come up behind me. Hang on. Hey, Max, it'd be a fucking good time to hit this guy! Oh, he bounced. Thank Christ. Come here, you little bitch! I want to Thank you. Oh. oh, the fucking stingray wants to try to go. Come here, bitch. I'm coming for you. Oh, that's this stupid fucking stingray. Oh, wait, I can't molest him, can I? You got your shield campers in the way. Yay, really? Hi, how you doing? Enjoying your fun? Oh, the gap's funny down here. Ugh. This thing hits like a fucking truck. Jesus. Boop. Yeah, I think, I think using Cortez is probably going to be the right decision for this. You just got to make it hit like a truck the whole time and never, ever stop. I have to wonder, is that LED still down there? Ow. Okay, well, the Sheridan molested me. There's the rest of them there. Come on. I want to see some older cannons. Do you reckon the, uh... There'd be a bimp. Boop. Oh, this is great. After years of being fucking shat on by other vehicles, I can finally do enough damage in this to actually make people fear me, like, 825. This is, this is beyond tier 10 levels of damage, actually. Hey, Sheridan, how are you? Oh, I missed. My tits are not beautiful bones. They're not big enough to be anything. Let's load the hate. Let's load the hate rounds. Rip Oleg the Immortal. Oh, there's the Sheridan. This is gonna be bleat for comrades. Hello, how are you, comrades? Boop. Down to the darkness you go. I kind of wanted to push him off the cliff. That would have been quite funny. I think my parents are using candles downstairs because something smells like it's burning today. The fuck? Oh shh. <laughs> It was me, Scorpion, there the entire time. This uh, C13 is still gonna have a go though. I don't, I don't even know where he's going. Where, where are you going, dude? What are you doing? What, it, what is your plan? I think he's doing it. Oh. Wow, you miss with your top-down attack missiles? Congrats, dude. Some kind of effortless eight, uh, eight. Really? Do you think it was effortless? Wow, that is the most funniest thing I've seen. I 
I uh, I maintain the title of Big Boss for that absolutely glorious end. <laughs> oh my god. So not, not a single fuck was given that day. <laughs> I even bounce damage as well. I mean, like, you know, for, for, for 1400 for a tank that's like paper. Well, it was paper, let's see. I mean, this lower plate is still, you know, 200 millimeters thick, but at least the turret is good. Big turret in as well, when you think about it. Yeah, basically paper everywhere, but yeah, that was, that was pretty good. Now, in all honesty, I've never really particularly enjoyed Chemical Plant that much. Um, it's, there's a lot of tight spaces on this map, meaning that the KBZ-70 doesn't really have anywhere to hide. Now, I could snipe at the back like everyone else, but this is a pretty fast tank, and provided I don't really run into any tier 7s, I, I think I can do this. So, um, a usual push for me on an MBT on this map, especially one that has hydromatic suspension, is usually to go towards the middle of the map. Um, however, it's not really going to be that much of a play this time, simply because of the abundance of TDs, AFEs and everything. Uh, if this was a top tier match, maybe, but I don't really want to want to run into any of the tier 7s. However, at this point I am using Cortez, which means I will be able to out-trade just about, well, just about anything on this map. So, it's all good from here. Um, one of the initial things to do is to see if I can use this little bit of cover here. Uh, as you can see here, the hydromatic suspension working okay, slightly, right. and get a good help in that Centauri, 681 damage. Um, actually, I'm not actually using Cortez at this point, I am using, uh, I believe it was Maximilian. Um, so keep in mind, every single shot here could have been 861 damage, I think. So keep that in mind. Anyway, two shots, 1441. Identified. It's pretty decent in all honesty. Um, I actually thought that Centauri was AFK. Turns out he wasn't, and I actually do spend quite a bit of the map trying to hit him. So the KPZ-70 is not a DPM machine. It's well, a DPS machine really. It's shoot, back out, shoot, back out, shoot, back out, shoot. And I do at least attempt to use it as much as I can in this one. 781 again, Centauro 900. Ow! Pretty decent aiming by that guy. He hit all shots. Okay, now I'm kind of terrified because I've lost most of everything, but I've done three shots in even using the box standard gun. Box standard commander, no Cortez or anything, you'll still hit for 681 every time, which I believe is the lowest damage. Which means even in three shots you've still done 1800. And max shots, you'll do 2400. So, not really bad here. Uh, unfortunately our team does seem to quite enjoy letting the enemy run around the mark. Um, I do spend quite a few shots trying to kill that guy over there, and uh, now it's just really me left at this point. We've got a BBP over there, but I'm kind of unsure why he's down there. Um, for now, however, uh, we haven't really tested the speed of this thing. Um, as you can see here, the Hydromax suspension working really well. Uh, it does give you minus 14 degrees of gun depression, which is exceptional. You won't really get that on anything like its world of tanks. And this Centauro basically just suicide rushes me. So you can see that I hit him for 782. Unfortunately, he's, he's going to hit me. He's going to hit me again. And things don't really go as planned. And now I've got a Merkava on my ass. And I'm not really particularly enthusiastic about it. Because uh, he's got a lot more hit points than me. But I am scary. I can still hurt him for... A third or more of his health at this point. So, if I can just keep it going down, we're all good. Now I've got a Type 90 behind me. So this is when you're going to see the speed of the vehicle come into the play. And at this point, I think, fuck it. I'm just going to go for the Type 90. Boop, got him. Merc's coming after me. Okay, time to run. And this thing can shift, even with moving around and dodging all the time at everything. However, at this point, I've only really got one shot left in this guy, so 823, and I'm dead. That's usually a pretty average game in the KBZ-70. The lack of armor means that I wouldn't have been able to bounce anything they had fired at me. The slow reload means that they have the ability to continue DPS and DPM you, so it, the tank does have issues, but even in PvE and Glops, it's, it's, it's fun. 
and asking for high damage games can actually be quite rare simply because you only have hit points and not armor unlike other NPTs such as the TADB who has the ERA, the Leopards who have the front glacis, you don't really have anything to really make up for it, it's just the gun. So you might as well capitalize on that. Take Cortez and do everything you can for it. As you can see here, I did go through a hell of a lot of games trying to get a good one. Just didn't really have any that many good games. So yeah, and I did 4163 4, damage, which is pretty decent. Uh, two shots in the Merc, one each in each of the scents, and two into the Type 90. It's pretty okay. Only third on the team. Uh, three misses, I believe those are all the ones on the Centauro with the total potential damage being at that. However, I fired pretty much every shot I was given, and no damage mitigated at all. So this tank can genuinely be quite a mixed bag, and as you can see in the bottom I was using Maximilian Koenig. Uh, the tank does have its issues, like I said, the lack of armour, but the speed is nice and it very much functions, functions as a giant light tank, being very much an all or nothing principle as you shoot and hope for the best. The other game, the first game as you saw, was probably one of the best ones I've had in it. I guess somebody would have been able to have a better game than me, but it will show the, the highs and lows of this tank. One game was good, one game was relatively average. So, do I recommend it? Yes, of course, it's cheap, it is... God, I'm actually going to have a look at the store now. As you can... See here... the shop window the average price for a tier 6 is around 3250 gold 3250 gold for the camp plans of 70 and of course if I want to uh, purchase any gold for that we're looking at around around 20 euros which isn't a bad price. It does it does make money at the very least, but overall it feels very much more of a fun machine rather than a serious one. So if you're looking for something that can derp the enemy, kind of like a tier 6 KB2 really, it's pretty fun. Overall I give this tank one Reichsmark out of $400 and I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, next time we have, according to the review pile, and I can actually find that. I'm a very professional person. According to the review poll, the next tank to be reviewed is the C1 Ariete with the BMD2M and the Centaur 105 coming up last. Pretty decent. So we have the C1 Ariete coming up Wednesday or Thursday. Like I said before, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all next time.